we have this nice family experience almost perpetually. In a sneak peek for tonight's episode of Sister Wives, we get a peek inside Cody's easy, blissful life with Robin and their kids. But I'm not buying it. Remember, Cody really oversold us on how happy he was with Mary, Janelle, and Christine back in season one. And eventually, we see the cracks in all of the relationships, leading Cody to now say that he was always miserable, that he never loved them, and it was an act or a performance. You know, he was just performing his duty as a husband and a father. In these teasers and trailers for season 19, and even in the episodes themselves, we see Cody talk about how much he enjoys his monogamous relationship with Robin and the family that they have built with her kids. But how long is that going to last? Personally, I don't think that this is a forever situation for Cody. I think eventually Cody will grow bitter and resentful towards Robin and her children, and he will dump them like he did his other kids and wives. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Okay, before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's topic, I just wanted to take a time out for a McKelty minute, if you will. Let's talk about the latest goings on over on McKelty's Patreon. Last Thursday, McKelty and Tony reacted to season 19, episode two, and y'all, I feel really bad because it is obvious that nobody in this family tells McKelty anything. Just like with the McMahon mansion listing, McKelty was completely blindsided by the news that Christine was suing Cody. Now, to be fair, I think this falls more into the category of Christine wanting to be cognizant of McKelty's desire to have a good relationship with Robin and Cody. So Christine didn't want to put her kids in the middle of legal issues, which that would just further disprove Cody's paranoid theory that all Christine and Janelle do is talk shit about him to his kids. No, Cody, you ruined your relationship with your children all on your own. McKelty also went on to defend Madison and say that simply wanting to have a conversation with your dad is not a fish for gossip. So good on McKelty for pointing that out. We are embarking on season 19, episode three, and boy, do I wish this show would start earlier than 10 p.m. I like to watch live so I can chat with everyone in my Facebook group, but I feel like I've been raving all night come Monday morning. I've never actually been to a rave, but watching reality TV till 11, it's totally the same thing, right? Anyways, in tonight's episode, we are going to get a look into a totally realistic family night at the McMansion, Sands Dayton. The girls are doing music all summer long. We're, we do stuff like this game right here. We have this nice family experience almost perpetually. And if you get through this one, I won't have any more carameled apples. Wow. Because I don't, I'm betting, I don't think she can get through this one. Oh! Oh, when she said yes. 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 that, that was stuff. Well, look, no one should appear on the show that doesn't want to appear on the show, but Cody always talks about how compliant everyone is at Robbins. So I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that their oldest child doesn't actually live in their home or appear on the show. So what's up with Dayton? Cody has mentioned that perhaps things aren't all that comfy cozy with all of the kids all of the time over at the McMansion. Robin brought her kids that were in our home with two adults into full compliance on our COVID agreement. And when they didn't, they got to be out of the home. So Dayton was kicked out? I hope he gets as far away from this toxicity as humanly possible. The dude like triple majored in college. He is seriously academically accomplished, but he will never flourish at the McMansion. So run, Dayton, run. We have this nice family experience almost perpetually. Cody literally sold us this same bill of goods in season one. He liked to do head counts each night with each kid, and he was adamant that he would do polygamy all over again because of love. He was just this guy who fell in love a whole bunch of times. You can't blame him for that. I like marriage, and I'm a repeat offender, so... I have adopted a faith that embraces that lifestyle. Uh, in fact, it recommends it. I like to reward good behavior. So if you're good with one marriage, they figure you'll be good with two. I hope they think I'll be good with four. 
So for me, it's not if Cody turns on Robin, but when. I guess the only thing that's up in the air is she may very well screw him over first. Cody and Robin are two of a kind in that they are always looking out for number one themselves above all else. Do I think Cody is an involved dad at Robin's? Absolutely not. If he was, she wouldn't need a nanny. I'll never get over the amount of physical labor we saw the wives and kids doing in season one while Cody was off doing who knows what. None of the kids or the wives could ever really rely on Cody for anything, not even help rearranging furniture. So they just did it themselves. I fully believe it's the same way at Robbins. That's why there's so many unfinished projects at the McMansion that we saw in their house listing. There's that tile to the side of their entertainment center that was never grouted. There's a mold issue that needs to be addressed. And apparently their deck is not safe to be out on. I believe it was the term deferred maintenance that was thrown around a lot when people were touring the home. So needless to say, it's evident Cody is just as useless at Robin's as he always had been at the OG threes. The difference is with the OG three, they wanted Cody's time, his affection, his emotional presence. Robin just wants his money. That's why Robin doesn't find Cody to be lacking as a husband or father. She's able to buy whatever she wants. So she's been happy. The second that stops, she is out the door. You can't look at a screenshot like this and tell me that these two people are happily in love. Every time we see these two photographed out in the wild, they look absolutely miserable. Cody is a better person now than when Mary first married him. And Cody's been put through it with Mary and Christine and Janelle, and they made him a good man. And I want to say thank you to each one of them and just go, you guys awesome, thank you so much. Robin's all like, thanks, OG3, for working at all the kinks of Cody's personality, but I'll be taking over from here. Like, literally, that's basically what she just said to the camera. It's amazing to me how much of the family's dysfunction we were actually told about right from the very beginning. I was told, you know, there was a couple of times where I'm like, you really can't go. You can't leave me. And you can't leave your family. You Here you are replacing your family with Robin and her kids. And yet, and I can only speak for myself, I chose to believe that overarching message that Cody was a loving, attentive husband and father, and that people should be able to structure their families as they see fit. I still believe that people should be able to structure their families as they see fit. But with Cody, it's like, well, were you lying then or are you lying now? And if you were lying then that you were happy and married for love and Mary was your soulmate and you loved being a dad, then why should we believe anything you say about life with Robin now? Your body language certainly doesn't evoke sentiments of a man that's happy and content with his life. I really feel like Cody is doubling down on Robin because that's all he has left. I don't believe that Cody is happy at all. In this same preview clip for tonight's episode, Robin goes on to talk about her kids' relationships with Cody's other kids. Solomon and Ariella don't really, they are not really tracking what's happening in the family. We had to go through COVID and it sort of prepped them for this separation that's happening. I'm really struggling with the idea of whether or not I remind them about their siblings, show them the pictures and stuff like that, because that's gonna create the question of where are my siblings? Why aren't they seeing me? Why didn't they send me a birthday card or something like that? Where are they? I don't know why, but Robin saying that COVID prepped the kids for the separation that is happening really stood out to me. Prepped them? Was this always the plan, Robin? Because literally we all went through COVID and most of us didn't experience a complete familial breakdown as a result. And yes, you always remind your kids of their siblings, period. This is a perfect example of how you are part of the problem, Robin. Cody has 18 kids. That is never going to change. Your kids have siblings. You can't make that fact cease to exist. You do your children a huge disservice 
by not reminding them that they have siblings. If Ariella is having issues with facial recognition, you print out pictures, post them all over your house. You do what is necessary so that these kids know that they have siblings that love them. If nothing else, let them watch the show. They'll see nothing but how much their siblings miss them if they watched the show. And show me all the birthday cards you sent out, Robin, to which you could actually sit here on camera with a straight face and bitch that Cody's ungrateful other kids just blew off their siblings' birthdays. Is this probably more likely a reaction to being completely blown off by you and Cody? For someone who talks so much about a big picture, Robin, you never actually look at one. Cody didn't even call all of his kids on Christmas. And we saw how Robin posed Christine and Janelle not spending Thanksgiving with them back in season 16. She completely manipulates the situation to make it seem to her other children that their other family members just don't care about them. That's not true. And honestly, what kind of mother would do that? Do you guys believe that Robin and Cody are endgame or more of a means to an end for each other? Personally, I think in the not so distant future, we will be hearing Cody talk about how much he was stuck with Robin and unable to leave. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and X at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.